Hi everybody, Scott Fuller here with another edition of the East Bay Real Estate Market Minute, the fastest 60 seconds in real estate. Today I'm going to be talking about a term that most people don't have not heard of, but they should be aware of, especially if they're looking to sell their home, and that's called dual agency. Before I get into that, if you're interested in finding out what your home is worth, whether you're looking to refinance, you're thinking of selling in 2017, or even if you're just curious, on our website we've got a link that'll take you to a home valuation page. It'll give you an idea of what your home is worth. And if you need some more information on what it's worth, feel free to let us know. But that's a free resource. Go ahead and take advantage of it. Okay, back to today's topic, dual agency, also called dual representation. That's a situation. Let's say, for example, if I have a seller that I'm representing to sell their home, and we got it on the market and I have a buyer contact me and said, hey, Scott, I'm interested in this home. Can you represent me uh, to be able to purchase this home? That becomes a problem because the seller has hired me to look out for their best interest. They have my fiduciary duty to be able to sell their home and get them the most money in the shortest amount of time. How could I possibly equally represent both sides when the seller's trying to sell for as much as they can, the buyer's get, trying to get it for as little as they can? So in a position where, there, where there's dual agency, the agent is representing both the seller and the buyer. Now, if you are thinking about selling your home this year and you're looking to interview some agents, this should be a question that you ask the agent. Do you practice dual agency? You want to find out if once that house is listed, if a buyer comes to them directly, which that does happen in the East Bay because we've got a lot of demand, a lot of competition. If that buyer comes directly to you, are you going to represent that buyer also? Or are you only going to represent my best interest? My suggestion would be only work with an agent who is not going to practice dual agency and represent both sides of the transaction. Not only can it cost you money when you're trying to negotiate the price up front, but it can, try, it can cost you money when you're negotiating repairs and, and other terms during the process of the uh, transaction. So there it is, dual agency. Any other questions, feel free to let me know. And hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.